Okay, so <laughs> as I log into Family Craft, welcome to another episode of Family Craft, by the way, episode 23. Oh, yes. Um, there's a slight problem at my base, so I might as well just show you that slight problem. Um, it's not the parrots, it's that white stuff everywhere. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's um, a few guys somewhere in my base here. Yes, so these guys are a problem. Don't know how these guys got here, but they're they're annoying. I, I need to get rid of them because this snow, like, it's very annoying because it does not go with my base. So I need to do that. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode. <laughs> so this recording is not only going to consist of getting rid of snow that snowmen left behind and killing snowmen um, when I come across them, because otherwise they will just mess up my base so much. But I am going to be kind of working with my pandas that are on the outside of my wall. I showed you them in the last episode, I'm pretty sure, and I kind of told you what I was going to be doing. So I'm going to be doing that today after I clean up a lot of this snow. And that's why I can't do that. <laughs> I didn't think there was any dirt over there. Apparently I was wrong. So yeah, anyways, I have no idea who did this. Uh, I asked a few people who kind of were around when this happened and they said they didn't do it. I think I trust them. <laughs> I think. I turned my Minecraft sounds back on the other day and now it's like there's so much more going on in my base. Like there's, oops, there's parrots and then there are cows and there are horses and then there were cats earlier and it's just, it's, it makes my base feel a lot more alive because there's stuff going on. All right, so that may be the end of it on the floor so far, but it's not just on the floor. It's on the wall as well. Luckily, this I can shovel because this is stone, so this will go much faster. But still, whoever put these snowmen in my base, you better watch out. Oh yes. There's all that out there as well. That that can stay for now. So I think that is all oh. So I think that is all of the snowmen at my base. Hopefully, I have no idea how many snowmen were here and I don't know if I want to know, but I got all of them that I know of. Yeah. So, anyways, let me go to sleep and then we can get on with this video that I planned on before deciding I needed to clean up all the snow. So anyways, <laughs> this episode is not going to involve snowmen or snow. It's going to involve these guys. And yeah, so I'm going to make a little pen for their, my pandas. Um, I'm going to break that and hope that they can't get out. I don't think they can. Um, but yeah, so I've kind of, I've got this shulker box and I think this is all that I need. I'm going to go around and like kind of fix this because pandas can't get through fences like this, even though humans can, which I guess they can't get through this then. So I don't know why I was worried about that. Now I want to get some jungle trees and I'm going to need some more jungle saplings. So I'm going to grow a few, whichever ones I don't like, I will get rid of. I do like that one. And then hopefully I can get some saplings out of these. Oh, well, that one's pretty good too. Maybe I won't get any saplings out of these. <laughs> Those are all pretty good. Well, then I'll show you what I'm going to do after that. Is I'm going to take some vines and some bamboo and some spruce fence la fence fences and lanterns. <laughs> I know how to speak. And then I'm going to land on top of these trees, plant a few vines so that they look like real jungle trees. And then as I work on these, they should grow just a little bit, <laughs> at least get a little bit of a 
special effect. There, so that's those. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here, grab this spruce fence and the lanterns, and I'm going to have some small lights hanging down like that. I mean, I guess I should finish the effect and add more lights before I say that that's what it's going to be like, but it's going to be like that. So there'll be just one, two, three lights all over this tree. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bamboo and first I'm going to plant the bamboo on the outside of the fences where there's a gap just to ensure that no pandas can get through. And then of course, like things like this, I'll probably be able to walk through still. So I can get in here. Yeah, there's that, I can get in. But pandas and other mobs supposedly can't get out. I mean, maybe like zombies and stuff, but other than that, nothing will be able to get in or out or anything. And then it'll also give this pathway like a different sort of feeling as you come into the panda section of the pathway. I will want to do something on the opposite side because I don't know if I want to continue these trees along or if I want to put some sort of other animal over there. So yeah, if there are any suggestion suggestions, <laughs> let me know. I would take any. <laughs> As long as the animals aren't too hard to get. I mean, I've gotten some tough animals like pandas and um, bats. <laughs> but aside from that, I would very much appreciate it if the animals were not tough to get. And then as I kind of go along, I think I'll add bamboo inside for sure. Um, I also want to add maybe a few more trees or maybe I'll just have the trees That'll be the jungle area and then have a bamboo forest on this side and then a pool because I do want to have a pool. So I'll build the pool now. There, like that. And then I think I, yes, I have some dirt. So I'm going to put a little waterfall over here as well because I got some space. This pen won't be here. So I think I'll just kind of terraform a small hill and then get a waterfall. Oh, what's up guys? Um, I'd much appreciate it if you guys just stay there. Thank you. Um, I'll get back to work now. <laughs> um, well, that's the <laughs> cliff. <laughs> These guys are very much admiring it. And I think I'm just going to put the waterfall right there. Oh, but I don't want it to go like that. So can I just do that and then have it fix itself? No. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, that looks really cool. Those guys are still staring at me. Wonderful. Yeah. That that looks good. I mean I could I could terraform it a little bit more. I mean I could spend hours terraforming everything. That looks good. And I'll probably put a little bit of bamboo up there as well. Um, but I also want to put, because there's this area down here, so I think I want to put a waterfall into a small pond right here. Those guys are still staring at me. Man, they, they really like me or something. Ooh, the vines are growing. That's good. We got the bamboo growing. I'm going to take a little bit of this so that I could plant bamboo on the inside as well. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit over here. It's gonna be hard because I wanna make sure that it can actually like kind of grow. So I think wherever there's podzel, I'm not going to put too many bamboo, which obviously is the opposite of a uh, bamboo <laughs> forest. Uh, can that grow there? Yes, it can. And then I'm going to put bamboo all up here. And then this is going to be a thick bamboo forest, so. Might not see too many pandas over here. But I guess I could put some parrots over here if I wanted. This guy really likes what I'm doing. I mean, he must be a big fan if he is, keeps watching me. I wonder if he's subscribed. I hope he is. I think I'll have to do most of the lighting like in the dark <laughs> because 
Then I'll be able to tell what's light and what's dark. I do want to put some lights along this lake thingy though. Alrighty, I'm going to put this stuff in here. I'm going to take a little step back. I'm going to see if this guy likes my build and then I'm going to release the pandas. And there goes my watch because it is late. <laughs> hey dude, so how do you like it? Um, I know that you've been watching me for a while. How do- ow! Do you not like it? Ouch! Um, dude, ow! Do you not like my build? Can you just tell me? Please. Okay, fine. I take it you don't like my build. Thank you for your input. Wow! Oh, dude! This looks so cool! And it's getting nighttime, so I can apply, apply, put down all the lighting. Oh, this is gonna look so nice with all the pandas. I'm excited now. And I think I'll put, once I get the pandas out, I think I'll put another jungle tree over there. But this area seems pretty lit up. Well, even though it's nighttime, I feel fairly safe. And I'm going to release these guys. Whoa! Those guys ran to over there. So there might always be pandas stuck down there. But then all these guys are just having fun on the ground apparently. And who are you? Oh, you're the sick guy. You feeling okay? I mean, you've shoved your face in the corner. I don't know. This guy might... I'm, I might cuddle this guy after the video just to make him feel loved. But anyways, that's that's that. I'm going to go to bed and then I'm going to grab a jungle oak sack. Blame jungle oak. Whoa, didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> then I'm going to kind of do that and then I have a few update things <laughs> to show you guys. And then that'll be it for this episode. It's a really short episode. Here is my jungle oak sapling and it is in my inventory now. <laughs> Alrighty, put that there, and then grow it. Oh, didn't mean to do that, and this is not the type of jungle tree I want. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, that's a really tall one. Well, let's put all this random junk in here because I don't need it anymore, and that's it. Um, I will off camera go around and add these trees and make them go around so that you can't see out and see all the torches around here and I'll, it'll blend this tree in and then it'll come around and meet up with this again so that it still seems like it's enclosed and safe and all that type of stuff but anyways i have a few small little announcement thingies that i'm going to show you really quickly because i built them recently. Um, first of all, this is the bee house. I think I've showed you this. I mean, pretty, pretty nice little house. Um, I won't go too into too much detail about it, but down here I made a bee farm and I currently have never seen a bee come out of that beehive, but I know that they're working. <laughs> I know this bee farm is working because I'm getting honeycomb and the reason I need this honeycomb is for the tiger agency which is something you have not seen or heard about yet because I'm still building that with a little someone <laughs> and we only just started recording that pretty recently don't know when that episode will come out but I just thought I would show you that farm and then also you will notice that there are these red banners on specific houses because I'm going to have a small little thing someone just laid an egg so I marked a few houses with red banners because I'm going to be kind of renting those or selling those here is more snow go away um so these are some signs it says if you would like to buy a house you can locate any with a red banner over the door and then contact missy that's me if you would like to buy it or rent it 
we can discuss payment then. So basically, I'm going to allow people to rent slash buy houses here for a specific amount of payment. It depends upon the size of the house, how long you're going to live in it, and where it is in relation to everything else. And then I'm going to take specific oh hello suddenly big meow from them and then i'm going to take specific houses because if i think i've kind of showed this but this is kind of split up like there's a wall right here and like everything in one half is all houses everything in the other half is like here's the bakery and then this is the butcher shop and then this is Spidey's house, so there will be nothing in there. And then this is the armory, armory, armor shop. This is the museum. And it's like, so there's just kind of business stuff. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably have a few houses that sell things. Oh, and here's the bee house. So I'm going to sell a few things at my base. And so I can make diamonds from people buying houses and then also from buying stuff from my base. I do have a few people who think it would be fun to have a house in my place somewhere. And I, I honestly think it would be cool as well. Like if I was going to be getting a small little house in the middle of someone's base, then that, that would be pretty cool. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, and obviously I'll probably like make discounts at my shops. Like if you own a house or something like that, you get like half off at some stores or maybe all the stores or whatever. I'll, I'll figure it out. But that's what all those red banners are for. And that's why you've probably seen them in a few places. I think that's going to be it for this episode was a super short episode but i have the pandas already and now they have a home so you know that's fun i don't know what i'm going to do next episode but off camera i am going to build trees or not build but grow trees around the pandas area and then i might also start on the castle because i've showed you the layout and i think i should just start building and then give updates on it as we go along because it's going to take a while and I can't I keep trying to figure out if I should build on camera or if I should just kind of go with it and then show you afterwards I think I'm gonna go with it and then show you afterwards that'll be a lot of fun I can't wait to show you how the castle will turn out I have some ideas in mind so yeah that is it for this episode thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next episode. See ya! Okay, so really quickly, one of the suspects for the snow golems is online. Elegantly crazy. She is new on the server. Um, go to Thundercow's video. I'll link his channel in the description because he kind of showed an introduction of her coming on. But she's one of my suspects for who got the snow golems in here. So I'm going to quickly ask her one small question. Small little question. Um, don't know if she'll answer it, uh, but uh, it's getting nighttime, so I'm going to leave my swing now. It's also not moving. It's kind of stationary, not really going anywhere. Yes. Snowman. I had a few friends at my base. That's interesting. Is that interesting as in you put them there or interesting as in you don't know what happened? What makes you think that? Well, um, you or my other thought um, are two of the only people who come on regularly who I haven't asked yet. So that's why. <laughs> who? Well, if I said that, that would ruin the surprise, and I'm recording right now, and I don't want to say, so you know, yeah. All I'm asking is if you've done it. <laughs> I made that jump. What is she doing here? What is she doing here? <laughs> what is she doing here? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
is this implying? Implying. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yes, I did it. <laughs> oh, I solved the mystery of the mysterious snowman. Oh, yes. And, guys, I got it all on camera. So, you know, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Yes. Yes, indeed. You do know I have a dungeon, right? I could throw you in there. But I won't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, mystery solved. Yay. <laughs>